A Samanera, Pali, Sanskrit Shramanera, is a novice male monastic in a Buddhist context. A female novice is a Shramanari or Shramanarika Sanskrit, Pali, Samanari. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The Samanera is a Pali language diminutive of the Sanskrit term sramana, strenuous, which indicates an ascetic practitioner. Therefore, Samanera might be said to mean, small or young renunciate. In some South and Southeast Asian Buddhist traditions, the term refers to someone who has taken the initial pravraja vows but not the upasampada or full ordination. The pratimaksa rules do not apply to them and they do not take part in the recital of the rules on uposatha days. The word shramanari is the feminine form of shramanara. History The account provided in the literature of South Asian Buddhism and adopted by other Buddhist sects is that when Gautama Buddha's son Rahula was seven years old, he followed the Buddha, saying, "'Give me my inheritance.' The Buddha called Sariputta and asked him to ordain Rahula, who became the first Samanera, the king Sadodana, discovering that now his grandson and a number of young men in the royal family had requested ordination, asked the Buddha only to ordain a minor with the consent of his parents or guardian. The Buddha assented. This rule was expanded to include the spouses of those intending to join the order of monks and nuns. Topic Overview In the Vinaya monastic regulations used by many South Asian Buddhist sects, a man under the age of 20 cannot ordain as a bhikkhu monk, but can ordain as a samanera. Samaneras and samanaris, the equivalent term for girls, keep the ten precepts as their code of behavior and devote themselves to the religious life during breaks from secular schooling, or in conjunction with it if devoted to formal ordination. In other cultures and Buddhist traditions particularly Northeast Asia, and those in the West that derive from these lineages, monks take different sets of vows, and follow different customary rules. The ten precepts upheld by Samaneras are Refrain from killing living things Refrain from stealing Refrain from unchastity, sensuality, sexuality, lust. Refrain from lying. Refrain from taking intoxicants. Refrain from taking food at inappropriate times after noon. Refrain from singing, dancing, playing music or attending entertainment programs, performances. Refrain from wearing perfume, cosmetics and garland decorative accessories. Refrain from sitting on high chairs and sleeping on luxurious, soft beds. Refrain from accepting money, ordination differs between Samaneras and Shramaneras. Transition to full ordination After a year or at the age of 20, a Samanera will be considered for the Upasampada or higher ordination as a bhikkhu. Some monasteries will require people who want to ordain as a monk to be a novice for a set period of time, as a period of preparation and familiarization. Adults would normally wear the white robes of a Brahmin. <inaudible> Ordination of women 
A woman is to be ordained, according to the traditional Vinayas, by both a monk and a nun, first as a Shramanari. Shramanaras and Shramanaris keep the ten precepts as their code of behavior, and are devoted to the Buddhist religious life during a break from secular schooling, or in conjunction with it if devoted to formal ordination. After a year or at the age of twenty, she will be ordained as a full bisuni Pali, bikuni. Topic. See also. Topic. External links. The Bhikkhunis Code of Discipline, Bhikkhuni Padamaka, translated from the Pali by Thanissaro Bhikkhu. Buddhist Monastic Code 2, Bhikkhunis. The website of Bhante Sujato's writings contains several ancient and modern texts on the role and ordination of women in Buddhism. Bhikkhuni Committee of the ASA includes a large resource of articles regarding bhikkhunis Monastic resources, training Female Monks in Buddhism by Dhammakaro, July 23, 2005 Vinaya Pataka Brief description includes order of ordination for men and women